Camper Van Kevin here, and we're still at the RTR 2017 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we've got rigs, rigs, rigs everywhere. We've got everything from, from Class B's to Class C's to travel trailers, conversion vans. And what we're going to look at today is an enclosed trailer that's got living quarters built in it. Uh, if you may remember from some of my videos way back, I built one as well. Uh, but I didn't uh, drag it out here to the RTR. I'm just in the BT Cruiser. So today, we're going to look at this 2017 enclosed trailer that's been converted. All right. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Jack. Uh -huh. Mr. Jack, thank you for showing us your trailer today. You're welcome. Anytime. Uh, Mr. Jack is from Oklahoma. And this guy, this guy is a jack of all trades, but he is a retired automotive technician. Uh, he had his own shop and everything, so... Uh, a lot of the work, well, all of the work he did himself, and it's, it's really amazing. So, Jack, would you mind showing us what you got? Not at all. Mr. Jack tows his uh, enclosed trailer with this uh, Chevrolet Silverado half ton, and it's got the, what size engine in it? 5.3. 5.3. Five, 5.3, three. Five, three. Five, three, and it is four-wheel drive. How does it pull the enclosed trailer here? It, it pulls it good. It just it really sucks the gas down, but it pulls it good. You get somewhere around 10? Uh, yeah, and yeah, I've got air shocks on the back, so it keeps it up. So. And while he was on the way out here, a uh, lady at Walmart decided that uh, she wanted to push, put a fresh dent there on his pretty truck. Um, that's kind of sad, but sure is, a, sure is a nice truck. I know you'll be getting it fixed soon. This is a Pace 7x16 dual axle V-nose custom trailer here. He's got the diamond tread aluminum along the bottom and on the fender wells. He also has 400 watts of solar on the top. He built these custom racks very similar to the enclosed trailer I have and the rack system I built, but he brought it back even further here to where he can house his ladders and uh, anything else he needs for storage. On the back doors, instead of having the barn doors, he has the, uh, the door that lays down here uh, and he has coated it with Herculiner. He said he put a full gallon back here and that keeps the uh, weather off the wood and gives it a, a surface to where you don't slip or fall. So him having a ramp door here on the back allows him to pull in this pretty motorcycle here and uh, we'll get Mr. Jack here to show us around on the inside. One of my favorite things that he's done here with his trailer to make it more personable in his is that people that he has that visits his trailer comes by and signs his door. Um, I was noticing here that uh, Adventure Van Man, Brian, there's his sticker. Make sure to check out his channel. And uh, this fella here, you may have heard of him before. He, he signed it, put his sticker there. That adds, a, that adds a neat touch. So all your friends. Friends, family. I have 11 grandkids. I got gotcha. you. Friends Sir. and family and uh, loved ones. I like that a lot. And I think that's a great idea that we could all we could use. I think you may have started something. Hopefully. All right, can you can you show us around in here? Anytime. Uh, now, are you full time or you camp a whole lot? I am full time. Now, uh, I'll probably go back and forth home to wherever. So, right. Because uh, I have to go back and see. I have a girlfriend that lives in Oklahoma, and she kind of misses me a little. So she's the one that did all the artwork on my deals. Her name is Tanya Provines. Look it up on the internet, and you'll have, you'll come to two pages on the first two pages of Google. And it's Tanya Provines. So. And uh, Mr. Jack here, he also makes, uh, he does jewelry as a hobby. And my copper rose, which is the Rose of Bardigraw, is what I named it. Very neat. I'm just going to kind of pan around. There's so much to look at here. Yeah. Sometimes a picture is worth more. And my granddaughter's artwork she had to have on the wall. Oh, I see it. There you go. Yeah. Your TV. Got plenty of videos, movies. Is this a twin bed? It is a twin bed. Storage underneath. Uh, actually, we have running water. Gotcha. I've got one of the same cook stoves as a backup. Yeah. Those are nice. They use a lot of gas. Yeah. Yeah. A little uh, butane. Yeah. And he's done uh, like a paper mache on top of all his countertops and his cabinets here. I like that, that's unique. I'm 
a big fan of cast iron cookware as well. You betcha. And I, I think make biscuits in there. Yeah. I think this is something I've seen on almost everybody's rig. Right. These shoe holders are handy dandy storage. And back here, he keeps his custom motorcycle, his guitar. He's got his uh, hot water heater here, his propane hot water heater. And something that's my favorite is this Engelhart Whitener. Whitener. 65 quart Whitener. That is nice. And your solar has no power keeping this, no, oh, no yes. problem keeping this oh, up? Yeah, no problem. Uh, what does a unit like this cost, Mr. Jack? I get 586 for it. Uh, you can buy them at Home Depot for like 686. No issues. No, none whatsoever. I've had ice cream in it and I make ice in it all the time. So much to see in here. Now, uh, I know you guys are maybe as curious as I am. I'd like to see the inside of this thing, wouldn't you? Would you show it to us? I, I know what's in there. <laughs> but I keep, I'm going to downsize the condiments to smaller bottles. But I have eggs in there, I have whipped cream, biscuits that I make in my cast iron. I'm going to cook the pork chops outside. Right. And of course, I'm a big sandwich eater, so I like sandwiches. How long can you find um, one person? How long can you last off your groceries? If you were to buy as many groceries as this holds, how long can you stay oh, one person? A month. Yeah, because I have dry, dry storage. I have a lot of dry, so. And I make ice, and I've got frozen vegetables and stuff down in there, so. And it, it seems to keep up with my ice demand, so it works for me. So this is uh, the way he heats his water in his enclosed trailer. This is a Triton on-demand hot water um, system. Uh, this is his 12-volt pump. He uh, fills up a five-gallon container here for his showers and his propane tank. That's how, of course, he runs his little buddy heater and the on-demand hot water. And that's working real good for you? Yeah, yeah. If you're cautious, you can get by with two gallons for a shower. Right. You know, you just got to be cautious with it. Not not enjoy it too much because it does feel good. Yeah, just, just get clean only. Yes, sir. He has a shower tent that he sets outside on the ground. Um, sometimes he, uh, he has another PVC system that he sets out here that sets into these uh, little end caps that he builds. And it uh, has three shower curtains that surrounds him. And I believe if he don't have any neighbors, he might get back here and... Uh, I might. <laughs> Depending on the neighbors, I might do it with them. <laughs> so. Just get clean in nature. We'll leave it at that, right? Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I sure have enjoyed looking at this enclosed trailer. Um, and I can't thank uh, Mr. Jack enough for showing it to us. Um, Mr. Jack, before, before we go, uh, tell me, if you had it to do over again, what would you do? I would make it lighter. Make everything lighter. Do it lightweight as possible because pulling it all down the highway is hard. Other than that, I probably would build it just the same. I'd just use a lot lighter materials and stuff. Yep. Like the laminate floors coming out and I'm gonna put vinyl down because it's lighter. Uh, other than that, and I don't really have a favorite thing. The whole thing's my favorite. There you go, there you go. Oh. Well, I can't I can't thank you thank enough you, for showing Kevin. it to us. And it's really nice meeting you. Yes, so. sir, I appreciate that. All right, all right everyone. Uh, really enjoyed this little video. And I uh, want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. You guys take care. Bye-bye. <coughs> I'd like to thank everybody for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I also want to take the time to let everyone know that watches my, that watches my videos that I now have a Patreon account. So any of you guys that would like to invest uh, anything back into my channel, uh, even if it's a dollar a month or five dollars a month, now you can. My, uh, my videos will always be free. But if you did enjoy it and uh, you would like to invest back into Camper Van Kevin, you can now do so at uh, www.patreon.com/campervankevin. The address is down below. Thanks again. Yeah.